So with the U.S. Open happening in tennis right now, it got me thinking about this ESPN movie I watched about women fighting for equal pay when it comes to prize money in majors. And it got me thinking about should they actually be deserving the equal pay or should they possibly be getting paid more than the men in prize money or possibly be getting paid less than the men in prize money. And just to clarify, this is only talking about majors because there's a New York Times article written about how in tennis pretty much only the major four tournaments give equal prize money to men and women and just a couple other tournaments. So for this video, I'll just be talking about in major tournaments. One of the reasons why men should be getting paid more in these tournaments is just based on the time they spend on the court and how much longer they're playing these matches. So men's matches are out of five sets, whereas women's matches are best out of three sets. As you can see by these figures, it's showing how many sets each player played in the 2015 Wimbledon. So the winner of the tournament, Novak Djokovic, played 24 sets, whereas Serena Williams, the winner of the women's side, only had to play 16. A counter argument to this is that just because men are playing longer matches doesn't mean they're playing better matches. So the product they're putting forward might be longer, but it isn't necessarily better. So here's another statistic showing the difference in time that Djokovic had to put into winning the tournament 16 hours versus how long it took Williams to win, which was only 10 and a half hours. But does that necessarily mean that Djokovic should be getting paid more just because he spends more time on the court? Or again, does it have to do with the final product that they're both producing? Here's another figure that many people use, and that's viewership for these tournaments. TV ratings can often be directly linked to how much a tournament is generating in revenue. If there is a big imbalance between the men's and the women's side, then maybe one of the genders should be receiving more prize money than the other. As you can see with these figures, the men's side of the tournament certainly generated more viewers than the women's side of the tournament. As a counter argument though, this isn't always the case. For instance, this article is written about how in the 2013 Women's U.S. Open Final, the women's match generated almost twice as much viewership as the men's side of the match. So I don't think this is always a good metric to judge whether all the tournaments should be giving equal prize money to the men and the women. One argument for why women should be paid more in prize money than men is that because I believe women's tennis is more entertaining to watch than men's tennis. Because the women don't hit it as hard, the points generally last longer, so I feel like those are more entertaining. Because if you just have three volleys in each point, then it's not a very entertaining product. I also think that them playing a best of three set is able to hold my attention better than the men's game, which is a best of five set. One possible solution is to determine the prize money on a year-to-year -year basis. You could take the money generated from the 2016 U.S. Open's women's event and use that to determine how much the women will earn in the 2017 final. And the same could be said for the men's prize money. You can just base it off of how much the tournament generated on the men's side from the previous year. The issue with this is that if, say, the 2016 final generated huge numbers, like a final between Venus and Serena, that would determine how much next year's winners would get, even if that match didn't receive nearly the same viewership. So you could potentially be rewarding lower ranked players for how well the tournament performed last year. Personally, I think the women players should be earning more, based solely on the fact that I find the women's side of the game more entertaining than the men's side. However, if the men's side is generating a lot more revenue, I do believe they should be earning more prize money for the tournament. I don't really have a solution to this problem, I just wanted to get my opinions and facts out there into the open. It will be interesting to see how you respond to this type of topic, and I did provide all the links to those articles in the description. 